In this video, I want to begin to look at different types of chemical reactions and then be able to identify what type of reactions we have. Chemical reactions come in two big categories. The first category is called a double replacement reaction. Sometimes these are referred to as double displacement reactions. A double replacement reaction can either be a precipitation reaction or an acid-base reaction. These are both examples of double replacement reactions. The other big category of chemical reactions are called redox. Redox is an abbreviation for oxidation and reduction. I don't know why it's abbreviated redox and always written out as oxidation and reduction. You would think it would be written reduction and oxidation if you were going to abbreviate it redox, or you would abbreviate it oxyredo. That just sounds kind of silly, but I've always seen it written as redox and I've always seen it written as oxidation and reduction. Just like there are different types of double replacement reactions, there are different types of redox reactions. Combustion reactions are a redox reaction. Now the book doesn't treat this as a separate category of redox reaction, but I like to think of them as their own category. You have combination reactions or synthesis reactions, and then you have decomposition reactions, and you also have something called single replacement. Single replacement sounds like a lot like double replacement, but a single replacement reaction is a form of oxidation and reduction. In this video, I want to focus on the double replacement category. The double replacement or double displacement reactions follow this pattern. You have two chemical compounds. These are usually ionic compounds, so that you'll have a cation and an anion bonded together, and then a different cation bonded to a different anion. And what happens is, in the reaction, they switch partners. The cation from one compound will combine with the anion from another, and then the cation from the second compound will combine with the anion of the first, and you get these products. In class, I'll describe this as a high school dance where two couples are dancing and they switch partners. Here's an example. You can put aqueous sodium chloride and mix it together with a solution of aqueous silver nitrate. Here we have a couple dancing together and here we have another couple dancing together. The sodium will switch partners and sodium has an Na with a plus charge and it will start dancing with the nitrate with a minus charge and the silver with a plus charge will start dancing with the chloride with a minus charge. And as a result, you'll get these new dance partners, the sodium nitrate and the silver chloride. The sodium wouldn't start dancing with the silver because those both have positive charges. They won't be attracted. Likewise, the nitrate won't start dancing with the chloride. So these are the only possible products. I want you to note that in this particular equation, we end up making a solid as a product. This is referred to as a precipitation reaction. You start with two aqueous solutions, in this case the sodium chloride and the silver nitrate, and you end up making a solid product. Let's look at one more double replacement reaction. We're going to have the same general format, where you have two couples dancing, and they're going to swap partners. But this time, let's start out with some chlorous acid. Remember, chlorous acid would be the oxy acid that comes from the chlorite ion. And I'm going to react that with potassium hydroxide. Again, I have two sets of partners dancing. I've got the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion, and the potassium ion and the hydroxide ion. When they swap, the hydrogen is going to start dancing with the hydroxide, and the potassium is going to start dancing with the chloride. And so you end up getting potassium chloride as a solution, and then hydrogen hydroxide. Now remember, hydrogen hydroxide is just water. This type of double replacement reaction is referred to as an acid-base reaction. We have the chlorous acid reacting with potassium hydroxide, which is a base. And in these reactions, you're going to start with two aqueous solutions, just like we did with the precipitation reactions. But instead of forming a solid, we're going to form water. 